Azure Cognitive Services has a feature that's part of computer vision that I don't hear people talking enough about. I want to talk to you about smart cropping with the computer vision API using C Sharp in this short video. Here I am in Visual Studio 2022, and I have a brief little bit of code here that analyzes an image. And what I do is I take in an Im input image file, and I have a path that's going to be my output file. And what we're going to do is we're going to have Azure take a look at this input image and have it analyze that image, figure out what's important to that image, and crop it down to just a tiny portion that's relevant to the user based on its artificial intelligence that it thinks what's interesting in the image. So I'm going to tell it what uh, image resolution I want for my thumbnail. So here I want 200 by 200 pixels, but I could have done something different. And then I'm going to open that input file for reading. That's going to give me a file stream that will let me access the bytes. And then I'm going to go over to computer vision, which I'm going to show you how I set that up in a second here. But I'm going to call my generate thumbnail in stream uh, async method. And this is going to call out to Azure Cognitive Services. And it's going to say, hey, I want a thumbnail that's 200 pixels wide by 200 pixels tall. Here's the input stream I'm using. So this here is a stream of bytes. You could also call a different method that gives it just a URL if you don't want to have to deal with opening those files up from, from disk. Uh, and then smart cropping is on by default, but I like to leave it here explicitly true just because it's, it's uh it's clear, but that will actually crop down your image intelligently based on what it thinks is interesting in your image. Okay, So that call right there calls out to Azure Cognitive Services. Once that comes back, it gives us back a stream. And we can take that stream and we can just write it out to a new file stream. In this case, I'm writing it out to a thumbnail.png file. Okay, So before I show you this, I'm going to show you how I get this computer vision and where that comes from. So this here is a computer vision client which is part of the Microsoft Azure Cognitive Services Vision computer vision namespace and package. Okay. So you'll install that using NuGet Package Manager, then you'll have a computer vision client you can work with. In this particular case, I'm creating an a API key service client credentials. I'm giving it my key. This is going to be your key one or key two from your Azure Cognitive Services uh, resource in Azure, or your key from your computer vision resource if you want with that. Okay. Next, I create uh, a computer vision client with that, and I give it the endpoint. And again, this is the endpoint that shows up on that keys and endpoint blade in uh, Azure Cognitive Services in the Azure portal. Okay, Those are the two pieces of information we need. Once we have those, we can then go through and do all this. So I'm going to show you how this works, and we'll take a look at it together. OK, so here I am in my little simple test uh, app. This is part of uh, automating my dog with Azure Cognitive Services, which is a ridiculous talk I give. But one of the capabilities of this app is I can actually go to my vision tab and I can start my webcam, which actually is a separate camera. So I can do that here. So hello, green screen. And I'm going to kind of go off to the side and, you know, I don't know, peace, Vulcan symbol, whatever, uh, take a snapshot. That sends it off to Azure. And now Azure's looked at that and it's actually cropped it down to just the portion of interest. And that gives me my really AI assisted uh, uh, snapshot as it were, <laughs> right? So it crops it down to just the thing that's interesting. And that in, that resulting image is 200 by 200 pixels because I asked it to. So this is a really cool piece of tech. It lets us do a lot of cool stuff with it. Um, you can take a look at, at this with maybe your pictures from your vacation or uh, client side pictures and generate a, a small uh, relevant uh, thumbnails from your image that, are, that focus in on the key details of that image. Really handy stuff. I don't see this used very often. Uh, but I think it's really cool. So take a look. Let me know what you think.